doesn't seem terribly bothered. The only thing that she's bothered by is the bit, but because it's a stronger bit and she's aware of it, so she's pulling into defensive habits that have always been there. She's showing me that she's willing to work and willing to be nice about it. Have you ridden a historical saddle before? Like this? No. The closest thing I can say I've ridden is either bareback or, or uh, it's a vaulting circle. Um, but I've never never gotten anything like this. And you definitely fix the uh, whatever that was where was, yeah was dipping too much is what it was doing. Yeah. So that yeah. one felt like I felt in the middle, secure, comfortable. You know, it didn't bother me. Uh, I didn't notice it. You know, from the last time when we made the adjustments. So I'm like, okay, that's good. So everything about it felt nice. Like I said, the only little things that I ran into is just, you know, again, she's already a defensive horse on hard bridle use. Like there, even just something as simple as asking her to bend, she immediately tensed against it to protect herself. There, you know, she's given there. And there. But the more we worked and the more she realized that nothing about me is changing, she melted and started softening and relaxing and you know, there's, there's nothing that really gave me any indication that there's going to be an outward, like, explosive issue, you know. And she can be very reactive if she feels, you know, uh, put upon or, or that if you're going to do something rough with her, you know, she's going to be more likely to respond negatively and run away and bolt and throw you off as opposed to, oh, that bothers me, whatever. You know, she's definitely not that horse. She's a little more touchy. Yeah, I mean, she doesn't, she's half asleep over there. She's really not bothered by anything. So I think, I'd like to believe that, that she's a good indicator that you're on the right track with, with the equipment, that it, it's working and, you know, again, just a couple minor adjustments. Yeah, I mean, putting her through the spins and everything, like I said, the only issue that I'm having is her resentment of the bridle, but it's not because uh, the bridle's bad or anything, it's just how she is, but as I'm working her, she's getting nicer on it, so. So you think it's mainly just the bit? Yeah, it's primarily the bit. There's nothing about the equipment that's giving me any any reason to, to believe that, that something's bothering her. Yeah, her only little thing is that she feels that bit coming into contact and she's setting herself up to try to work against the pressure because she's afraid that I'm just gonna start yanking on her. So I'm asking her to soften to it just a little. Just a little. Now I have to admit, I'm a little wobbly up here because my tendencies when I wear armor is I lean forward because again I'm always adjusting to and you know getting ready to get hit and you got to remember when you're without your stirrups leaning forward gets a little bit off your center so quite honestly I'd use this saddle to practice making myself a better centered rider honestly because I've got bad jousting habits it's not difficult like I'm not up here struggling I'm just going oh okay I gotta think about that oh I gotta think about that you know it's making me actively pay slight more attention to my balance and, so, and, and it's showing me the bad habits I've adopted either from jousting or from, you know, just riding with stirrups all the time. So it's letting me know that you got some things to think about, you know, but my ability to direct my horse, you know, like I'm not, there's, there's no issue here. Like I'm not having a hard time. And mind you too, she's also being really good. So this is not a saddle that I'd put on a horse to train. You know, I would want a horse that is close to finished has confidence, and then I can go and, and do the work that I'm doing now where I don't have to train her to steer, I don't have to train her to stop, I don't have to train her to, to back. You know, she's already aware of that stuff. Now we're in the nuance department of, hey, are you being nice on my bridle? Are you feeling my change in my seat? You know, do these feel different to you? So it's really just now we're just talking like detail-oriented things as opposed to big, big moments, you know? Like I even had to reach down and kind of stabilize myself for a second because I noticed that I jerked my hip one way or I sat the other way. But certainly yeah. when I noticed myself coming forward, it was nice to have that stability there. Um, Cause you get the English saddles that are shaped very similarly to this with a lower back and uh, none of these. So um, I definitely feel like I have a small security blanket up here where if I need to grip something, I have a chance to, to maybe get myself saved before I crash into the ground. I do like having these in the back here because same thing it, I feel stable there it gives me something to, to just balance against a little bit as a, as a rider you know again I, I'm used to the saddle so much so I like having these there it, it makes me feel stable
Well, thanks for doing this. I appreciate oh, of course. it. Whoop. You get caught. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. <laughs> I don't know what I'm hooked up on. Was it the tunic? Yeah, just the tunic. And if anything, she just just like, ah, oh, this idiot. <laughs> but she didn't even bat an eyelash. So I, I think that's about as good a litmus yeah, test that you could so possibly too, get. Yeah.